never try and never know. <laughs> yes. Sorry, when you said that when we transition from the, the stomach to the back, you just ask them to Just ask them to turn over. Oh, okay, no, there's no turn No, no need. In reality, you know, uh, this is fantasy. <laughs> he knows that. <laughs> he knows in a few words, you, you can you think or you can do it. When you go there, uh, <laughs> cannot. They don't know how to do that. What, 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 like this. Don't have that. When you're stretching, they help you. When you do to do something, they against you. Oh, so many. Okay, wait, straight your leg. Okay, so ask them to turn over and put the hand underneath the knee. Straight forward, and then crossing under your knee. Now your hand, please. Okay, chin to the chest. Wheel out your shoulder. Good, like this. This is uh, the same thing with two leg exercise, okay? But these are bending like it now. Exhale, and you pull up, and then sit. And then if you want to, Put the pillow in front to stretch, you can do. Okay, and forward. And straight. And palm. Okay. Give a nice stretching. You don't have to palm down to the lower back just here because you get better gravity. You see, I put and I stretch. I'm not just putting down. I put straight. Um, this is the muscle is stretching. Okay, and then wrap them up. Okay, support the butt up with the cushion or the towel and tell them to put the hand on the knee okay so from this you stand up you relax a little bit neck and the shoulder and then your palm Then turn. Okay, now first exercise, I will work. If I put my hands on my how to know, okay? <coughs> if I half kneeling, and I put my hands here, he's probably quite tall, and my hand just touch the shoulder like this, uh, I think it's too low. So I need my hand is higher by one palm. So how I do this? Because in the West, the people are big. Support your knee. Now, you get good gravity. Put the forearm on, and then drop your chest. One. This is we call one round, eh? One. Two. And three. Okay? If you want to focus, focus on one side, you can do. Okay, we start on his right side. I was sitting one knee in line with this, his knee, one knee in line with his that the end of the upper leg. And where? You can step over, you see your arm in line with this direction. Turn his face into the knee and then drop the ear down like that, angle up with the other side. So this muscle open. So, forearm in line and you press. It's more focused. Good for someone have migraine here. Yeah. Migraine mostly here, it came from a whole side of this shoulder, like pulling like this down. So you can feel like everything pulling like this, contraction. So this is the best way to release the migraine. Especially this migraine come from the stomach. Okay, like this. Okay, and then change the side.
Nah, oke. Okay. For a moment. Now we give a stretching. The stretching the arm, the people think they go to this way or that way. Actually, it's not because the shoulder and the hip is the same direction. So we we'll go this direction. Okay. Ah. Uh, start from any size that you like. Okay. Especially, especially I always leave to support the back because when you are standing like this, it's a little bit like very touching. Even your breast, your area. So better support. So people feel like you stay on the chair. And then if you work on the right, you step the right side forward, put the hand behind the neck. And then hold this. Make sure they're gonna stretch this direction. Hold the elbow, hold the tricep. Inhale, open the shoulder joint. Exhale, relax. Release. Three times stretch and then again. Inhale up, exhale stretch. One, two, and three. Okay, and then release, change the side. Hold the elbow, open the joint and the lat. Inhale up, exhale four. Up. <coughs> okay, done from this one. Now we're gonna work is make how to make the shoulders up close as close to the ear. This is good thing for the shoulder movement. A lot of people feel the clock click click like this came from this. So you have to found the the corner of the scapula and you make three fingertips but not close together, make a little separate. Then you know the point, levator, levator, mina, bomboy mina. So it's about three area together. See, make on a corner, make the middle fingers, yeah? Levator, the one lip of the shoulder, mina, and bomboy mina, yeah? So then how to do? Put the hands up behind the head, move yourself to the side, Make sure your buttock angle in line all straight here. So grab the wrist, put the elbows on, hands down. This hand obviously always facing to you. And then grab the fingertip. Lock your elbow in the first point and then pull the elbow. Not everyone can feel all the pressure because if they're flexible, it has a lot of loose resistance so don't expect that um, you can uh, people can feel more one two and three the other one down one two and three one two and three okay then we go to red and green is done now we go to the back one put the hands behind the back let's recall wrong boy Major, major is make the chest open. When you squeeze scapula together, your chest is open. This is, you need to relax them. Put the hand behind, facing into the shoulder. So you want to lock the hand with the knee, and comfortable you can do, or you can just leave it free, nothing wrong. Put the thumbs down, not the nail. Thumb facing into between scapula. Bring the elbows back, and move. Two to three round until you feel that comfortable, but not expect that you can put all the people that with the thumb underneath the scapula and that's someone very tight. Okay, so not everyone can do. Okay, just press along this. Okay, finish on this side, you're already in a good position. You just move forward. When you sit down, you make sure this shoulder in the center of the spine. <coughs> put your hands up, grab the wrist, put the elbows on, and pull. One, two, three, 
Try to put the thumb first, it burns skin. So you pull the scapula toward into your thumb. Touch, bring the scapula back. Okay, done from this one. Okay, we're gonna stretching the neck a little bit more into the front. How to do? We're gonna lift up. We're gonna put the chest open and the chins up 45 degree and he's gonna drop the chest more forward by gravity, okay? So how to do? Make a prayer position underneath the chin, forearm on the shoulder, open your knee. Inhale, I put the shoulders forward a little bit and chins up. Exhale, drop the chest. Again, see forearm, inhale, chest a little open, chest. exhale, drop the chest. Okay, like this, and then stretch the neck a little bit down. Now you can see from here they have a tendon here, we call it trapezius muscle came from the shoulder. So C7 is here, start from the elaborate C7, the bone, and compress. No burnt skin, eh? compress on the side. Okay. Then from this one, this tendon, we have another muscle here. Interlock the finger. We call it sternoplidomastoid. Someone knows. Okay. Okay, Palm a little bit done from here, release all the tendon. Because this tendon are stuck at the bone here, that's why we need to do pressure point, you know. Okay, so pressure point number one is in the center of the neck, the base <coughs> of the scalp. Yeah, and then when you see this tendon on both sides, this is uh, trapezius. So we're gonna press on trapezius here. This is number three. After tendon, Three, six, five. You see? Just next to the tendon, not far. In the picture, look like very far, like this, 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 so nothing here. I need to follow the way the tendon connecting with the bone on the head. Okay? See? Tendon, three, six, five. Four on the top. Okay? Put the thumb. It's on top of the tendon. Huh? On top of the tendon. On top of the base of the neck. This is the bone, the scalp. Yeah, but you, you touch the, the tendon. See, yes. Okay, so you touch like this and you hold the forehead and exhale, press. This one, you run to the base of the neck for consciousness. And then you go to the tendons here. Tendons here is run to between the eye, uh, tear down here, yeah? down to the nodes, we call. Exhale. On his right side of the eye. And then number Six, six is run to the eye socket, the eyeball behind. That's why we have the pressure points tomorrow for face massage. Do gentle and slow. And then we go to the temporal muscles here. Number six, or uh, number five, sorry. Three, six, five. Four temporal muscles and also feel to the ear. Okay, the other side, number one, the tendon, to the eyes, to the nose, three, to the eyeball, six, five, to the side, 
six to the ear. And then stand up, number two. Yeah, you can cross and then the top approximately. And you move, not in here, okay? When you move, the ear should be in line with the shoulder. And then you see the ear are crossing here, but move a little bit one thumb forward after that line is crossed. This is where, and then thumb cross and drop. And then release. Okay, it's done. Thank you.